hello and welcome to leanthesweetlife.com. This is just Lean the Sweet Life. I'm just trying to shout about our website. Um, so first thing I need to tell you is please join our Foodie Book Club. It's getting quite popular and I've just um, uploaded, mm, sent out some free downloads of books um, from, uh, from us to you. So thank you very much for those subscribers. You'll find that on the last page of our website. I'm looking between two cameras because I've got my phone because that always works and I've got my new camera still trying to figure it out behind us and I've got this look I can do it remotely oh, only from the camera though we'll see what happens but um yeah so this is the next installment of the Croatian um family trip that we did at New Year now this is for something called Zlev Zlevka Z-L-E-V-K-A I'm honestly Tanya I'm so sorry I can't <laughs> say it properly but uh, you'll understand and hello to everybody in Croatia and thank you so much guys for um, putting up with all of my tweets and, and things like that out there. I'm really, really excited about this. It's, I've started writing my recipe book so this is something that I'm going to use, obviously adapt uh, for a UK version because the idea is that I have family recipes that are used constantly in the family in Croatia and we use them. I'm going to use them here and then I'm going to... Um, make a slightly twist on it to make it more adaptable to UK palettes because this recipe has things like fresh cheese which if you go to leanthesweetlife.com you'll see I've posted on there a recipe for fresh cheese honest to goodness it is to die for and it's the easiest easiest thing to do okay um, and you can use it for a lot of things not just for on top of this this zlevka but also for things, if you want to mix it with chives, you can have a cheese and chives dip. If you want to put some honey on it, you can have it like that. It's really nice. Um, and also the ways, the ways, the way that's left over, it's great for protein shakes and things. So just give it a go. It's so easy. Once you do it, you'll just, you'll be making it for everybody, honestly. Um, but if you don't want to do that, use cottage cheese. The recipe and how to do it is at the end of this video. Um, I think the video, including my little spiel here, is going to be about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. Um, so please, please, as I say, subscribe to the Foodie Book Club. Tell me how you, how it goes on when you try this, um, because I'm excited to see everybody else's stuff. Send me pics. Okay. See you soon. Thank you. Bye. No, We're on now. Okay. So, you know, the lovely Tanya now. Yes. So what are we going to make? Zlevka. 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 It's crazy. You notice I'm not actually doing anything again. I'm just watching again. There's yeah, a pattern. yeah, yeah. There's a pattern. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't cooked anything. <laughs> that is so easy. Yeah. Is it to cook? Cook is easy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm learning so much though. I've got like about five or six different videos, and all your food is in recorded in sections. So when you were doing it the other day, I had I've got pork. Mm -hmm. All the bits of pork put together, all the bits of, it's like, there's lots of videos. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, so, okay. That's that, that, okay. Right. What, what sort of size is this, do you think? It's a normal size. It's a normal size. <laughs> uh, like, uh, 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 like, three, a tray. Three, a tray. Four. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So, a baking tray size. Three by four. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I might put it down. 
Thank you. Elena? Hi. No? I can't even read my own instructions now. I was putting the wrong instructions on. I was doing this at two o'clock in the morning um, because it came into my head and I know I needed to post it today. I'm trying to keep this in shot. I find this really odd. So first, cheese. Uh, fresh or cottage, 500 grams. Now, you, if you go to my website, leeandthesweetlife.com, you'll see I've got a cheese, a fresh cheese recipe there. It is so simple and, um, and this is what you would normally use on there. But cottage cheese works absolutely fine and you'll see why. Um, yeah, but... Give it a go. And also join our foodie book club. Foodie book club. Yeah. Um, three eggs. Large. Uh, two tablespoons full of oil, vegetables, salt, pinch of. Um, sugar, two tablespoons. Caster sugar if possible. Flour, six tablespoons of cake flour. This is what was used. Seven tablespoons of ground corn flour. Not corn flour as in to make things thicker, but corn flour. Um, sour cream, two-ish tablespoons, you'll see why in a second. Uh, and remember these are family recipes so they're very flexible and have to be easy to use but um, don't be scared of this, I'll show you why. Milk, which is the extra for use and you'll see that's the end, how much we need. And dried yeast, she's used half a pack which is three and a half grams approximately. Then you need some extra butter for the pan and extra for the top and then more sour cream and milk for the top as well. Okay, so that's what it is. Zlevka. It is gorgeous, honestly. Okay, uh, right. So heat your oven to 200 degrees. Put everything in a bowl, not the sour cream. Leave that out because you'll need that. Mix it all together until you've got the consistency of a Yorkshire pudding mix. Okay, now this is where you may need the extra milk, which I showed you in the recipe. Um, if you need more to make it that consistency, add the extra milk, some of the extra milk there. Okay. So obviously I don't know how much extra milk you're going to need because it depends on what sort of flour you use. Um, butter a baking tray, which a baking tray which has sides on it, you'll see in the video that fits your oven. The cake is doesn't it's not going to be a thick one, even though it's got yeast on it, it's going to be really thin and that's how it should be. Um, pour the mixture into the tin and spread it out. Now we mix the sour cream, um, which is ish, right? The what was it on my thing? Two-ish tablespoons. Um, and the some milk until you get a nice just make the sour cream just a little bit more runny but not too runny okay put blobs of it all over the cake add knobs of butter all over the cake and then you bake it for 20 minutes or until golden brown you'll see in the video um, what that looks like when it comes out in its best warm and fresh but you can reheat it and do whatever you'd like to do with it Check out um, leeandthesweetlife.com for the recipe for the cheese. Please, please, please start our foodie book club. Uh, subscribe to that. You'll see a um, subscription on the back page of our website. Um, I'm just giving out some um, free downloads for books. So do that and give this a go and let me know how you get on.